Hey again, everybody. I have to first off apologize that it's been a while since I, I did a put out a tutorial, but my clients are keeping me very busy and my kids are coming up on school being out. So that's adding to the crazy schedule. But I wanted to sit down and just go over something really quickly with you because I think it'll be helpful and it's a lot easier than uh, you probably think. So I wanted to just show you quickly how to set up your um, document or how to get started on designing a brochure, like a trifold brochure specifically. There's just a few little things that I can tell you that will make it a lot easier or that maybe you've just been questioning. And I think trifolds are still a really useful piece of um, design. Um, print design. So first we're going to start a new document. So you can hit new and sizing for a standard trifold brochure is a landscape eight and a half by 11. So width is going to be 11, height is eight and a half, your orientation is landscape and you are going to want to right away just do two artboards because we're going to do front and back. Um, and then the standard bleed for print design is an eighth of an inch all the way around. And color mode, if you're, um, if this is being printed, which usually trifold brochures are, you are going to want to set it up in CMYK. So once you have those settings filled in, go ahead and hit create. And there we go. So we have two artboards with our bleed um, showing as well. And now what we want to do is um, figure out our three panels because if this is going to be folded, if this is going to be a trifold, you're going to have three panels that you're going to set artwork up in. So the easiest way to do that is to take your total inches across, which is 11, and divide that by three which is, okay, 11 divided by 3 is 3.66666. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our rectangle tool and we're going to click once and that brings up um, our rectangle options that we can type in the specific dimensions. So we want our one panel to be 3.66 oh, 3.66 3.66 inches and then the height is going to be um, eight and a half the the height of your document so 8.5 and then just hit OK and this is just going to kind of be our guide here we're going to place this in the left hand corner let's zoom in and make sure we get it Get it on there just exactly as we can and take the stroke off because we don't need it. Okay, and then what we can do is um, go up to Object, Transform, Move, and to make sure we get this nice and accurate, we're going to, what I like to call step, we're going to step it over horizontally that same um, panel width, so 3.66, and then there's going to be no vertical move, it's just going to move straight across, and then we want to hit down here and hit copy so that it makes another duplicate panel. Now we're going to do the ex same exact thing, and I think the shortcut is shift Control m yep, shift Control m or um, Apple shift m We'll bring that box up again and we're going to do the exact same thing. Step it over one more time, 3.66, do a copy there. So now we have our three panels. Looks like we're off just a hair over here because of the 0.66. So I'm going to nudge that over one. And then now what we're going to do is with our direct selection tool, we're going to click and drag and select all of those. And then we are going to do a control or Apple, either one, if you're on a Mac or PC, control five. And that command turned our boxes into guides. So now we have guides and that one's not exact because it's not infinite, but this will be very close and it will be a good start for you. 
So um, we have our panels. Now we know um, where to design our artwork so that when it folds, it folds correctly. Um, and what we could do is if we do a control Z and release those guides and we have all these selected, we can do the same thing, just copy and paste it over here on our other artboard. So with all of them selected, you're going to click on, click with your mouse and then you're going to hold control shift alt or Apple shift alt and drag all three of them over. And let's see if we can adjust that a little bit. Okay. So we are going to click and drag over all of them. And we're going to do our Apple or Control 5 to turn all that into guides and there now we have our six panels so in order to get this set up correctly when it folds um, I just want to explain this to you because I'm not I'm not actually going to design this because um, obviously your design is going to be specific to who and what you're designing for I just want to give you the basics um, to go by um, so if we're looking at this from a printing standpoint, um, when this is all folded, said and done, this panel right here is going to be the front cover. Um, this is going to be the back cover. And then this is going to be back. Let's see how to explain. This is the panel that will kind of fold into the middle. Um, back. Let's see. Folds into middle. Folds into the middle. If that makes sense. And then this is going to be your inside spread. So when you're designing this, in all reality, this second side, your inside spread, could be one big entire um, graphic layout. You wouldn't even have to go by the panels because when they open this up and look at it, it's all going to be together. It's not, the fold isn't going to matter. Whereas on this, I mean, these will fold into separate panels. The, the front cover is just going to show when it's all folded. These are the pieces that show just themselves. So I would keep your design inside the panels um, for the front and the back and the middle. But this inside spread, design-wise, you could do whatever you want. Um, you could design, you know, make this its own little column with some text and photos and then make these two panels one big photo and the you know the text could sprawl across the fold because like I said they're gonna open it up and view it the whole thing together so um, hopefully this helped you and I know sometimes it's just hard to get in that mindset of envisioning something after after it's printed but and you know what what's the fastest way to get get set up so hopefully this helps and I am going to make it my mission to get back on track with one um, tutorial a week. So stay, stay with me and thanks for following.